hey and welcome back to another video in this video i'm going to be showing how to set up an engine sound using meta sound and a very interesting software but with that said let's get into this so first before you get started i want to show you all the software i was talking about it's called engine sim by Integrate. Uh, leave a link to his youtube video down in the description and also leave the link to the website where you can get the software so the link will take you to a, a community website where you can get different engines for the software and then somewhere at the top you'll find a download button that will then redirect you to the github where you can actually get the software so once you've downloaded the software and you open it this is what it looks like to actually play with the software you press a to enable the ignition and then press and hold s until the engine starts and you can let go and then the engine will be idle and then q w e and r craft the engine and then for our particular purposes of this video what you want to do is hold the one with the exclamation so you can learn the engine's firing sequence because this is going to be needed when you edit the audio because for the engine to work properly in Unreal Engine you need to create a somewhat perfect loop so if you know the ordering sequence of the engine then you can see where you should start and where you should end in terms of how to make the loop function properly and then to actually create the loop what you want to do is come into the software with your engine of choice and then press D to enable dyno and then press R and then once you get to a nice range that you want you can then press H to hold the RPM there and then record this maybe for like 10 seconds and then after that disable the whole thing and then there you have it and then after that you can pretty much close the software again and you can come here you can play with this you can download different engines and play around with them they sound really good they sound really good like really really good so with that then you can import your audio into Unreal engine another thing down in the description i also leave a link to where you can find the fade by float uh, it's an asset i think it's called a sound patch meta sound patch it's gonna be really helpful in this video because especially for engines where you um, mixing multiple sounds together with the default mixer it doesn't sound well because if you try and cross fade the audio somewhere in the middle it kind of like dies out so it's gonna play the first audio die and then play the second one so it's gonna be like an interruption but with fade by float you determine where you want the fade to happen so i'll leave a link to where you can get that down in the description so if once you have that and you've copied it into your project you're gonna go and say audio meta sound source i'm gonna call this ms underscore sports car underscore engine and then we're gonna open up this just gonna drag the output somewhere out the way and then the output the mono output elsewhere and then from the input on play we're gonna drag off and look for a wave player the wave player 1.0 mono and then in here we're gonna select the idle so for this to work you need an idle sound and then also like i said somewhere in the rpm range depending on what car you, you you actually want the rpm to sound like so if you're making like a normal car which has about 6000 rpms uh, a mid range rpm loop will work quite well if you're doing a car with a much higher rpm range like somewhere like eight nine thousand then you might want to record the higher rpm loop it, it just comes out better it, that's simply it so once you've added the waveform, you've selected your audio file, select loop, and then from the input on play again, we're gonna drag off and look for another wave player. And then here we're gonna select now the RPM that you, the range that you've selected. So this is pretty much gonna be your whole RPM range in this example, because we're creating a very simple setup. This is gonna be all RPM range. So for this to work from the pitch, we're going to drag off and then look for a map range. And then we're going to promote this to a variable. 
and you can go to graph input and then this one you're gonna call this yeah by input you're gonna call this rpm so we want the pitch of the audio to change dependent on the rpm so in the outer range a we're gonna set this to negative 10 and then in the outer range b we're gonna set this to 2 also before i go any further this method comes from the youtuber matt b i'll leave a link to his youtube channel also in the description you can go check him out he makes wonderful content in unreal engine so if you want to learn something else that i don't cover you can go and check him out like i said he makes wonderful content so back to the video and then from here what we're going to do is we're going to take this input and then control c control v paste it this side and then we're going to right click and look for the fade by float down at the bottom and then connect the rpm to the rpm and then drag this out and then what we're going to do is we're going to add a mixer a mono mixer you can add two but i'm going to add three because i want to add an extra little something because it makes the audio sound a little bit better and then from here we're going to take the out left and connect it to in zero and then control c control v and then we're going to take the out left and then connect that to in one and then we connect the out mono to the in left the out mono on top to in left and then between the rpm and the fades we're going to add a map range sorry wrong one a map range float and then just move everything up a little bit now the map range float is going to determine our range basically of from the rpm which goes from zero to one to whatever values we want to add for the arc for the vehicle's rpm so for the sports car it's 900 to 7000 so we're going to use a map range to convert the zero to one to 900 to 7000 so in the in range a zero in range b one and then out range we're going to set this to 900 and then outreach B, we're gonna set this to 7,000. And then we're gonna take the out value and connect that to the RPM for the fade by float for each one. And then from here, we're not gonna set the values when the fade in and fade out. We're gonna leave this at zero, put this at probably like a thousand. Then the fade out will start to be 50 and then add at 1150. And then here we're gonna set this to like I don't know like 800, and then we'll set this to 1350, and then we'll set this to 8000 and 10,000. And let's actually put this at 8000 just to be safe. So if we were to play this, if you can hear, kind of sounds like an RPM range or accelerating. That's what we want. So that's good. We have that working. Out two, I'm gonna drag off and then look for a low pass filter. The one pole one pole low pass filter. And then I'm gonna set this to 4500 and then by the end drag off and look for a Perlin noise audio. So the only the reason I'm adding this is just to kind of mimic the uh, back pressure that happens in the exhaust just to kind of give it a little bit of variation you don't have to add this like i said it's completely optional i'm just adding this because i like it and i'm gonna set this to negative 0.5 and 0.5 respectively just so there's not too much variation in it and then with that we are done save and then we're gonna go to the sports car porn and then in the sports car porn we're gonna go to the viewport and then add a new audio component but if you go to the level and you select the metal sound blueprint you just created if you have it selected and you go to the sports car port and you add a new component you'll find here at the top you have the audio ms sports car engine so it's pre-selected for you so you don't have to do anything else and then we're just gonna position it gonna go top wireframe and then just position this at the back you can position this wherever you want to 
I just run it at the back of the car. I'm gonna compile and save. I can see perspective view. The event graph, we're gonna add a function. I'm gonna call this engine, engine sound. And then to set up the code to run the engine sound, down by components and variables, we're gonna select the chaos real vehicle movement component. And then we're gonna drag off from the NC get engine rotation speed and then from the execution pin we're going to drag off and say oh sorry no we need to drag in the audio component we just created hold control and drag it in and then from there we drag off and say set float sorry set float parameter the lower one and then from the get engine rotation speed we drag off and look for a map range clamp and then connect that to the in float on the set parameter set float parameter and then what we're going to do is we're going to convert the engine rotation speed which you can find if you click on the uh, vehicle movement component down here by the engine setup the engine idle rpm is the lowest and the highest is the max rpm so what we're going to do, we're going to set this from 900 to 7,000 and then from 0 to 1 because this is the, RP, the RPM input that we have over here. It goes from 0 to 1. So what we want is to have the map range convert the rotation speed from 9,000 to 7,000 into a readable 0 to 1 for the input over here. And then over here by the set float parameter, the in name, we're going to set this to RPM. And then connect the executional, the execution pin. And then with that, we should be done. Hopefully it works. Save here as well. And then. Okay, so let's add it to the event tick because I want it to run constantly. Compile and save. And then now it should work. That everything has been set up. Everything is good. Uh, that's it for this video, and until the next one.